Although this movie was finished in 2018, it wouldn't be released until 2023. So this is the first movie I've ever seen where at the end of the movie I was left completely speechless. This movie rocked me to my core. This is the most important movie of 2023 and it's going under the radar. People need to know about this movie. One thing I've always really respected about actor Jim Caviezel is he's never afraid of jumping into controversy. Ever since I saw him in Passion of the Christ, he's always just been willing to go into uncharted territories, but I just gotta say I really admire Jim Caviezel's bravery and faith because I'd say not many actors nowadays have what he has. One thing that this movie did extremely well, it did a great job portraying just how easy it is for kids to get sucked into child sex slavery. It's all so innocent. And the people involved are so innocent and it isn't until it's too late that the kids realize what a huge mistake they've made. All the people in this movie that are some cog in the wheel of the child sex trade, they're like the most two-faced, soulless people I've ever seen. Like how can you be so calm and deceiving? They knew exactly what they were going to do with these kids the moment they saw them. This whole world of child sex slavery is so crazy. It's like invisible to most people out there they have no idea what's going on and it's right in front of them it's right under their nose and they can't even see it people need to know exactly what's going on in their backyards because one of the stats was that this child sex slavery it's a 150 billion dollar a year industry it is quickly surpassing the drug trade there aren't enough words for me to describe how sad and disturbing that is and how things need to change, people need to take action, people need to be more aware of what's going on. As a believer myself, the one verse in the Bible that I always go to when I see people trying to make children sin is Matthew 18.6. Matthew 18.6 says that anyone who causes a child who believes in me to stumble into sin it's better for them to have a millstone tied around their neck and thrown into the deepest depths of the sea. That is the stance that God takes on it, and that's the stance that not only believers should take on it, but everyone should take on it. One other thing that this movie did for me is it changes the perception. Now when I'm walking around, I wonder how many people out there, when you see a kid with them, is it their real kid or is it a kid who is taken from their family because you won't know. You have no idea. So it heightens your awareness. It's like you were blind and now you see. So I highly, highly recommend check out this movie as soon as you possibly can. If you have a tight budget in the comments, there is a link that you can go to. There's a pay forward program for tickets, but also there's a free tickets thing too because people need to know about this. People need to see this movie now. There's not a lot of press on this movie. There's not a lot of people talking about it, but there can be. Let's get millions of people to see this movie because like I said, this is the most important movie of 2023. The child sex industry needs to be exposed and we are the ones to do that. So for Sound of Freedom, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 mud flaps. Before you go, leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below what is your favorite movie about slavery. See you next time.